In our Gospel today, Jesus talks about knowing the Father. It's amazing. During Holy Week, we celebrate that Jesus gave up His very life for each one of us by name. He offered the ultimate sacrifice for all of our sins so that we wouldn't have to pay the price. He paid them for us. He is mighty God. He is the Son of God. But He admits so clearly that He is nothing apart from His Heavenly Father. Jesus is so in love with His Heavenly Father, He knows His Father's goodness. In Hebrew, or Aramaic, He would have called Him Abba, which is the word for Daddy, Abba, Father. And so Jesus is telling His disciples, He's telling the Jews, He's telling the Pharisees, if you want to be God's children, you have to be knowing Him as Father. And so he says in the Gospel of John that when we see him, we see the Father. So every time we look at the altar and the host is elevated at Mass, we not only see Jesus, but we see his Father also. Wonderful humility and awesome love. In the 2014 film, The Jewish Cardinal, starring Laurent Lucas, who plays Cardinal Jean-Marie Lustier, he is ordained a priest. He was a convert from Judaism. And eventually, he rises up to become a cardinal. And Pope John Paul II made him a mediator between the Jewish community and the Catholic community. And it very troubled the cardinal very much. It was a great struggle for him. And one day, John Paul II took him by the hands and said, I know how much you have suffered, but it was necessary. And when the pope said this, he began to weep. And so did the cardinal. A very beautiful moment between father and son. When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed over and over again, Father, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, but your will be done. Over and over again, he says that, Father, not my will, but your will be done. And so Jesus, so attached to his father, so loving his father, wants to do his father's will because he knows his father's will is perfect. But every time the father thinks about what his son had to go through, it breaks his heart. It destroys him inside, but he knows it was the only way necessary that he could bring us back to himself. A couple years ago, I was on a retreat with a priest who gave a a fatherhood retreat. Uh, The focus was the fatherhood of God the Father. And one of his conferences, he said, Do you know your dad? Do you know your dad in heaven? He's a wonderful, wonderful dad. And it struck me. It struck me so powerfully when he said that. Because we think of God the Father as mighty and and sometimes hard to reach, but he is so present to us, most in particular through the person of his beloved son. So this Lent, necessarily speaking, the Lord has prepared us to be in a desert. Most of us are quarantined. We can't go out. We can't live life as we used to live it. We can't even go to church. We can't even receive the sacraments as we're supposed to this time of year. But perhaps the Lord has an invitation for us. Perhaps He's saying, all this quiet time, come to know my Father. Come to know God the Father. Come to know how much He loves you. How He knows you by name. He cherishes your name. He knows everything about you. And He just wants to bring you closer to Himself and give you that mission to go into the world to bring more people back to Him. Because so many people are away from Him because they don't know Him. They're afraid of Him. But He's so loving. And so, let's take the Lord's Word seriously. Let us, like Him, not be apart from our Heavenly Father so that we can receive His love and then take His love to the world.